Hello everybody, how are you? This is Andrea and today I have a new dress up video for you. I'm always excited to be making these because I get the chance to sit down and enjoy my core doll collection. You all seem to be liking these as well, so I will try to make this series a regular monthly segment just like face up stories and drawing time. Alright, let's begin with the introductions. Today's model of choice is my BJD Jess. If you're new here and want to know what kind of doll she is and where you can buy her from, I left all the info and links in the description box. I know that this is the second time in a row to feature Jess in my dress up videos, but I have a good reason for that. I have finally started learning how to make doll shoes. It was on my list of things to learn this year, and I'm super happy to have finally invested the time to do this. The black boots that you see here were my third attempt ever. The first pair I made were some cute little wedges for Monster High. Then I made some flats for mini fees, and now I made some over-the-knee black boots. I always thought that Jess would look great wearing this style, and now that tall boots are back in fashion, it was the perfect time to make a pair for her. So the goal of today's dress up video is to find a nice combination of clothes to look good with the boots. We are in the middle of winter here in Melbourne, that is why I want to give Jess a nice warm jumper. I especially like the pink fuzzy one, I got that one just recently. And funny enough, it looks exactly like a pink sweater that I have for me as well. The temperatures here in Melbourne rarely fall under 0 degrees Celsius, so many of us still wear skirts as long as we have some warm stockings or leggings to keep us warm. This is why, even though it is a winter look for Jess, I am picking between shorts and skirts. I guess I could call it a Melbourne winter outfit of the day. Mm, I think I will pick the cream colored knitted sweater. I need something that will make the boots stand out, while at the same time make the whole look a little bit more casual. I want this to be a comfy look that Jess would wear if she went out on a coffee with her friends. Yeah, that is really nice, I think. I feel like she's missing a scarf though. I think she would look great with a nice chunky black infinity scarf, don't you think? Well, the only problem is that I don't have one, so I guess I have to make it from scratch. Firstly, I grab a soft stretchy black jersey fabric. Then I wrap it around her neck. There I decide on the length, bulk and if I want the scarf to wrap more than once. When I have a rough idea, I carefully cut the fabric. Then I double check on the length again, just to make sure all is good. After that, I fold the fabric in half and sew along the back to connect the two ends and turn it into an infinity scarf. Don't get me wrong, my sewing skills are terrible, but I do my best to work with what I've got and what I know. The scarf doesn't need to be perfect, as long as it does its job, I'm happy. Alright, after I finish sewing, I turn the scarf inside out. That way we have the nice looking seam on the outside and the ugly one on the inside where no one can see it. It doesn't look too bad, does it? Gather it up and here we have our super easy DIY doll scarf. Let's try it on Jess! So far so good, let's play with the shape a bit more to give it the exact look that we want. Yay, I like it! 
Now let's give her wig back and fix the hair so that it doesn't look too messy. Nice! Now all she needs is her special Sailor Moon handbag. I made this one last year based on one of the official 20th anniversary merchandise. This was my very first attempt at making a doll bag, so it's full of mistakes. But let me show you my favorite part of it. It is the lining on the inside. It is the same as the original human-sized bag. I don't know about you, but I love details like that. Well, anyways, let me show you Jessie's final look. <laughs> Here we go, what do you say? I think it is the perfect look for a fun day out with girlfriends or window shopping or simply enjoying some brunch. If you'd like to see how I made the boots and you want to join me on my shoemaking adventures where you see me struggle as a total beginner but also see how I learn and improve then check my shoemaking series. I am documenting and sharing every single attempt I make as a total beginner. I am figuring things out as I go, which I guess it is the main charm of this series, because the struggles and mistakes that I make are very likely to happen to others as well. So I really want to share the whole experience of learning a new skill, including setbacks and how to overcome them. So yeah, all of that and much more can be found up on Patreon. Well, this is all I have for today. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, comment and share. And if this was your first time on my channel, I would love to have you subscribed so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you so much for watching, take care and I'll talk to you again next week. Oh, and Namina says hi too. Bye!